okay uh, students in the last class um, we discussed about this summing averaging and then scaling uh, with reference to inverting configuration of op amp non inverting configuration of amp and then differential configuration of op amp all these things were clear to all of you inverting configuration means input is applied to inverting terminal non inverting configuration means input is applied to uh, non inverting terminal differential means the input is applied to uh, both the terminals okay and in all these cases uh, depending upon the importance uh, we discussed about the summing averaging and the scaling operations of operation amplifier so before that in uh, uh, four of the lectures uh, we uh, uh, learned inverting non inverting amplifier okay and then uh, we uh, calculated uh, input impedance output impedance and then the bandwidth in all the cases right so now uh, in the today's lecture we are going to have discussion on the comparators okay the meaning of comparator i think is known to all of you if i give you uh, two quantities number 2 and number 3 if i ask you compare these two definitely students will say me 2 is less than 3 that's known to everybody okay so then if i give you two more numbers minus 2 and 1 which is bigger 1 is bigger right so therefore minus 2 is less than 1 okay if i give you another situation where minus 3 and minus 7 which is bigger here so minus 3 is greater than Minus seven. So this is what is the prerequisite. The information to be known to the students to understand the discussions uh, 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 on this comparator. Today's topic uh, is the same only. It is just comparison of two inputs. Are in simple words, I can say comparison uh, of uh, two numbers. Right. So input means what voltage or current only. so voltage is a number 2 volts 3 volts 5 volts it can be plus or minus so therefore if you clearly understand the meaning of comparing two numbers then it becomes very easy for us to understand the functioning of the um, comparator okay so with this uh, uh, let us pass on to the contents of the syllabus under the heading comparator okay students <clears throat> this figure shows the operation amplifier used as comparator okay so this is the comparator 741 is the operation amplifier we apply uh, supply voltages plus vcc minus vcc here okay so here we have connection to inverting terminal and also to non inverting terminal we are applying the reference voltage v suffix ref v suffix ref reference voltage is applied to the inverting terminal to the resistance r and then the input v in is applied to the non inverting terminal again through the uh, resistor r okay so two things are applied here okay so v in is applied to in uh, v in is applied to uh, in non inverting terminal and then v reference is applied to the inverting terminal so therefore this uh, circuit can also be called non inverting comparator this is also called non inverting comparator the reason is i am applying my input to be compared to non inverting terminal hence the name non inverting comparator so here uh, as the name says it is a comparator it's going to compare two inputs what are they one one is a v in other is v reference the two inputs are compared here okay that is what is to be clearly understood now uh when when uh, v in is less than v reference what happens this is the output here when v in is less than v reference what happens see this is v in i am saying this is this v in is less than this v reference then output is going to be minus v sat minus v sat okay what is v saturation 
below the x, I mean the reference zero zero volts, it is minus V suffix double E. Okay. On the other hand, this sometimes this V in can be greater than V reference also. When that is the case, then the corresponding output is going to be V positive saturation plus V sat. That is plus V suffix CC. So this is what is the this is what is the um, the functioning. This is how the circuitry of comparator is going to function. So therefore, your output changes from output changes from one saturation to another saturation depending upon the applied input, whether it is less than reference voltage or greater than reference voltage. So therefore, comparator is a kind of uh, analog to digital converter. I'll tell you why do we call it like this, right? So basically, these comparators are going to convert sinusoidal signals or, or irregular signals, I can say in general, to, to what form? To square waveform or rectangular waveform or pulse waveform. So that's why the uh, comparators can also be called as analog to digital converter. So any kind of analog signal, which may be irregular or which can be sinusoidal, can be converted to square waveform or pulse waveform or rectangular waveform, making use of uh, this kind of circuitry called comparator. So therefore, such circuits are also called analog to digital converters. Analog to digital converters. Okay. So now, uh, this uh, you are finding two more components here, D1 and D2, diode 1 and diode 2. This D1 and D2 are used to protect the operation amplifier from damage due to excessive inputs. So this may not be uh, very significant as far as uh, uh, the laboratory experiments are concerned or this theoretical description is concerned. So whenever we go for uh, industrial applications of this kind of comparators, then these diodes D1, D2 will play a very important role. So when there is an excessive input to, to the operational amplifier, what happens to this diode? You see the way the diodes are connected here, they are in opposite direction. So depending upon the input, whether it is excess in negative direction or positive direction, diode D1 or diode D2 are in general the difference input voltage will be clamped to plus or minus 0 0.7 volts. What is this 0 0.7 volts? 0 0.7 volts is the cutting voltage. Okay, so therefore, we are going to have the voltage, one second. One second, one second. The PPT disappeared. Uh, wait. Something went wrong while writing using the electronic pen. So therefore, uh, it got disappeared. You are talking about the comparators. Yeah, this diagram. Yeah, this one. Okay, so now um, I'll write once again. Right, so depending upon whether this V in is less than or greater than V reference the output is going to be either positive saturation like this or negative saturation. Positive saturation means uh, it can be plus 12 volts or plus 15 volts. Negative saturation can be uh, minus 12 or minus 15 volts. So therefore, the bottom line at this point is all these comparators are going to convert sinusoidal or the irregular waveforms to pulse or square or rectangular waveforms. So therefore, uh, these comparators 
are very much useful for the applications to generate the square pulse or rectangular waveform. I was telling you people the diodes. These diodes are going to uh, uh, control or uh, reduce the damage caused to the operational amplifier by the higher input voltage or excessive input voltages. By their action, these diodes uh, will, will get the difference voltage between the inverting or inverting terminal. If that voltage is excessive, then it automatically gets one of the layers will get forward by us, thereby the voltage across the terminals uh, will remain plus 0.5 voltage or minus 0.7 voltage, which is the cut-in voltage of the diode. So therefore, diode, uh, I mean, therefore the operational amplifier is protected. So therefore, um, uh, we are going to use diodes D1 and D2. So this is about the simple explanation of uh, uh, the comparator. So in the next slide, uh, we have this waveform here. See, here I have marked the reference voltage. Okay. Uh, remember this because in the next waveform explanation, the, this, these two points are very important. Input we are applying here, V reference is there here. So V reference plus is connected to the inverting terminal. Then I'll go to the next slide. See, this is the input I'm applying students. Sinusoidal input I'm applying. This is the input to the this is V in input to the uh, comparator. This is the corresponding output, the second waveform. You see here, input is increasing here. Input is increasing here. It's going to increase up to up to one volt from zero. So this is one volt, what is shown here, right? So this V reference is here is equal to one volt. So what happens at this point of time, our our input will start becoming greater than V reference, greater than V reference. So therefore, from this point to this point, we find that the input is greater than the V reference. Therefore, therefore, the output of the comparator goes to plus V sat. Plus V sat means plus VCC. That's what is shown here like this. That's what is shown here like this. Just before that point, you can see here, this output is at minus saturation, negative saturation. Similarly, look at this point. Exactly at this point, this V in is equal to V reference. Immediately after that, you can find that this V in is less than from year to year. From year to year, our V in is less than our V reference. So therefore, corresponding to the same, our output is at negative saturation. And the same thing is continuous. So this is uh, the input-output relationship in case of uh, uh, a comparator, that too with the positive V reference. See here, with the V reference is marked here. It is plus one volt. That's what was shown in the diagram also. You can see here, this is plus one volt. This can be minus one volt also, but what happens in the diagram is your action of switching between uh, positive saturation and negative saturation takes place uh, below the x-axis somewhere here. So depending upon whether it is minus one volt or minus two volts, it takes uh, at that instant of time, the, 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 the signal is going to be uh, like this, let us say. So if this is the V reference, then the corresponding action takes place. Okay, this is what is explained with respect to positive V reference. Students can also try explaining the same, keeping this uh, reference as V reference. Okay, next. <clears throat> so here, input output uh, uh, waveforms with negative uh, reference is also shown here, right? In the schematic is not shown. In the same schematic, you just change the polarities of the uh, reference voltage source that is sufficient. Automatically, it becomes uh, the comparator with negative V reference. Only the waveforms are uh, shown here. See here, this is the point corresponding to V reference, which is set at minus volt. This is zero level, below that is negative, minus one volt. So therefore, from 
zero volts to maximum and then back to zero again till this negative V reference. Till this negative V reference, V in is greater than V reference. Therefore, the output is at positive saturation level till this point. From this point onwards, what happens is our <coughs> input becomes less than V reference. Therefore, the output of the comparator goes to negative saturation. Right? That's why it is shown here. Then again, at this point, it changes from negative saturation to positive saturation, and the same thing continues. So, therefore, therefore, <coughs> the inference is these comparators are going to convert sinusoidal waveform to rectangular or sinusoidal or pulse waveforms. Okay. So at this stage, we have learned about the comparator with the positive reference, negative reference, conversion of sinusoidal waveform to uh, the uh, rectangular or um, sin uh, square waveform. Okay. The next is inverting comparator. <coughs> so uh, inverting comparator, the meaning is very simple. See here, the this is the input V in. This input is applied to the inverting terminal, hence the name inverting comparator. One simple explanation. Then uh, one more difference of uh, one more difference in the circuitry with respect to the previous schematic. What we learned is uh, instead of the connecting a DC source as a reference voltage, unlike in the previous example, in this one we are using a 10 kilo ohms potentiometer pot. Okay, so then this pot is supplied from plus VCC like this on one side and then negative VCC on the other side. So therefore, depending upon the position of this uh, middle point of the potentiometer, the particular applied or the voltage is applied to the non-inverting terminal, that particular reference voltage. So therefore, the advantage here is <coughs> based on the requirement, uh, we can change the uh, reference voltage just by varying the potentiometer. So that is what is this inverting uh, comparator. Okay. So the action will remain the same. Again, two diodes D1, D2 are there. They are going to control the damage to the operation amplifier when the input is going to be excessive. Okay. Again, this V reference, right? So V reference you should write, then V in. So V in can be greater than V reference or less than V reference. Positive saturation, negative saturation, the output is going to be uh, a rectangular or square waveform like uh, the previous uh, uh, schematic and the corresponding input output waveform explanation. Okay, So that's not going to be considered in detail for this case. The only difference to be noted at this point uh, is it is inverting comparator where the input is applied to the inverting terminal. Secondly, fixed reference voltage is not used here. Instead, 10 kilo ohm pot is used to have a variable uh, reference voltage for specific application. So therefore, knowledge of fixed reference as well as the variable reference should be clearly understood by the students so that uh, if you carry out any project in your IS semester, all these discussions are going to be very much uh, useful. Okay, so this is again the waveform which I think uh, already explained, uh, uh, right? So input output waveforms positive reference, right? So this is uh, a positive, uh, this is a reference, and then uh, uh, you are finding that exactly at this point uh, the uh, output is changing from um, one kind of saturation to another kind of saturation, right? right? This is for negative reference. I mean to say for this diagram, unlike the previous one, unlike the previous one was the non-inverting comparator, this is inverting comparator. So inverting comparator, what happens is when, when the input, <coughs> when the input V in is greater than the V reference, greater than the V reference, the output goes to negative saturation. The output goes to negative saturation. On the other hand, when the input uh, is less than V reference, 
less than V reference, then the output goes to positive saturation. This is because uh, we are applying input to the <coughs> inverting terminal. That is the reason why the waveforms are generated on the similar lines, but uh, but of the say, opposite polarity because the input is applied to inverting terminal in the case. Similarly, the same thing is happening here also, but with the negative <coughs> V reference. Okay, so this is about um, the comparator. And the extension of the discussion on comparator is uh, uh, what is called the zero crossing detector. Okay, so the concept of zero crossing detector is very simple. Students, uh, you just look at the previous diagram here before understanding uh, the before understanding the zero crossing detector. Just I just point out see here where exactly this uh, change in the saturation taking place at some negative voltage here minus V reference, right? Whereas uh, change uh, at this point again a reference minus V reference, right? So if I make this V reference zero, what happens? All these cases of output changing from positive saturation to negative saturation and negative saturation to positive saturation takes place at the point where our input changes from positive to negative or negative to positive. That means at on the x-axis, right? Corresponding to these points, uh, the change of saturation takes place. That is what is called zero crossing detection. Okay, so that's what we have here. Zero crossing detector. See the name here. When the input crosses zero, maybe from positive off cycle towards negative or negative off cycle towards positive off cycle, the output is going to change from positive saturation to negative saturation and vice versa. This is what is the meaning of zero crossing detector, right? This is just an application of the comparator and, the, and, and by using this kind of circuitry, we can convert this sinusoidal waveforms to uh, square waveforms, right? So that's what is about the zero crossing detector okay the functioning remains same whatever i explained is fine only thing is you see here we reference the uh, the dc voltage source which was acting as a reference voltage is removed and we have short circuited to the uh, common point here like this so therefore v reference is zero so this circuitry it gives out the output uh, which is shown like this you see now this is the output input waveform corresponding to zero crossing detector. See exactly at this point, our input is crossing the zero voltage level and at the output, the uh, saturation from negative becomes positive. Again, it is going from uh, negative off towards positive of zero voltage level. Again, it is going from positive saturation to negative saturation and so on. So this is about the input and output uh, uh, waveforms corresponding to the zero crossing detectors. So next is uh, the one of the very important applications of operational amplifier that is uh, Smith trigger. Smith trigger, very very important circuitry. Okay, uh, this is the schematic shown. Um, this is the input voltage V suffix in. Okay. And then compare. This is the, the, the common name is comparator only everywhere. The reason being, what action takes place, what functioning is carried out by the operation amplifier is comparison only effectively. But but this is a special application where we are going to convert a sinusoidal waveform to square waveform. Okay, and then this is Z suffix R suffix O M offset adjustment resistance, uh, which is uh, equal to approximately the parallel combination value of R1 and R2. R1 and R2 is the voltage dividing circuitry, uh, which gets the output from the out uh, the uh, uh, signal, I mean the waveform from the uh, output point, okay, to generate the necessary reference voltage to the non-inverting terminal. This input is applied to inverting terminal. Then positive saturation plus 15 volts, negative saturation is minus 15 volts, this is the load resistance across which we are going to uh, measure the output. This is about the physical 
uh, appearance or explanation of the Smith trigger, right? So this is basically a inverting amplifier. This is the first point to be noted. So using this circuitry, we can convert all irregular and even the sinusoidal waveforms to uh, square uh, or pulse waveform, as I said uh, earlier, like this. So here, input voltage, this V in is going to trigger the output every time it exceeds certain levels called uh, UTP and LTP. Here, the concept of UTP and LTP should be explained. Upper threshold point, lower threshold point. Okay. So these two are the points to, to be uh, understood uh, with reference to with reference to Smith trigger. Okay. So upper threshold point, lower threshold point. So here the voltage across R1, this is the R1 resistance here. Voltage across the R1 is variable with reference to the threshold voltage. Okay. So that depends upon the output voltage V0. So this voltage across R1 depends upon the output voltage. So when, when V0 is at positive saturation, let us say V0 at a plus V sat. So when V sat, then voltage across R1. Okay. Then voltage across R1 is called UTP, upper threshold point. When this output is at negative saturation, the corresponding voltage across R1 is called lower threshold point. Okay. That is uh, uh, minus V sat and then uh, 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 okay, the, uh, the output is minus V sat uh, pl plus V sat. Okay, so as long as uh, uh, this uh, V in, one second, as long as this V in is less than voltage UTP, what happens is output output will be at plus plus V sat. Okay, plus V sat. So uh, when output, uh, th th this is how, th this, this can be uh, further detailed using uh, the voltage divider circuitry. So this uh, v UTP, uh, V suffix UT upper uh, threshold is uh, given by R1 divided by uh, R1 plus R2 whole multiplied by plus V sat. This is what is the expression for uh, um, the UTP of the uh, Smith trigger. Similarly, um, when the output is at negative saturation, the voltage that appears across R1 is called uh, LTP. Right. So the LTP is the voltage which appears across the uh, uh, resistor R1 when the output is at negative saturation. So therefore, therefore, when V in is greater than VLT. Or VLTP, okay. The output goes to negative saturation. Uh, and then, then that voltage is called uh, V suffix LTP lower threshold point, and it is given by uh, R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by minus V sat. Multiplied by minus V sat. So this is uh, what the is the meaning. What is the meaning of uh, UTP? and then LTP, lower threshold point and its value, upper threshold point and its value with respect to uh, what is called the uh, Smith trigger, uh, particularly with reference to its uh, non-inverting configuration. Okay, so uh, comparator with the positive feedback uh, exhibits uh, hysteresis also. The concept of hysteresis will be explained with the help of the uh, corresponding waveform in the next slide. Okay, so this is the uh, input waveform, output waveform corresponding to the Smith trigger, right? So this is input waveform, which is output waveform here, right? So the input is increasing here from zero level, from year to year, the output remains at positive saturation. At this point, what happens is uh, the input uh, crosses the reference level. So therefore, there is going to be change in the output from positive saturation to the negative saturation. So therefore, it's going to change like this. Then it remains at the same position 
uh, till this point till this point so this is uh, uh, minus 2.5 uh, this is this is a specific example of an experiment carried out uh, keeping this saturation as plus 14 minus 14 uh, this uh, uh, reference voltage as uh, plus 25 millivolts minus 25 millivolts uh, and also this uh, uh, peak voltages plus 5 volts plus 0.5 volts minus 0.5 volts so this is the waveform so you are finding that basically uh, this metrigar is going to convert this uh, uh, sinusoidal waveform to square or rectangular waveform. So whenever you wanted to have this kind of conversion, then definitely you can go for um, uh, using the circuitry. Okay, so this is about the waveform. And next we have uh, hysteresis loop, the concept of which is very, very important, right? So this kind of comparators with the positive feedback are going to exhibit uh, what is called the hysteresis loop okay mm, i think in the laboratory you will be carrying out the experiment and the smith trigger you are going to connect both input and output to uh, the channel one channel two and then you are going to have you are going to make some adjustment on the cro cro is a cathode ray oscilloscope one of the electronic devices used in the laboratory by appropriately adjusting the knobs on the cro which will be explained by your instructor in the laboratory, you will be able to uh, produce this kind of uh, waveform, what is called hysteresis loop. Okay, this hysteresis loop will give us VHY is equal to uh, VUTP minus VLTP. Okay, the difference of the uh, upper threshold voltage minus lower threshold voltage will give the hysteresis voltage, so which can be measured. And its mathematical equation is given by R1 divided by R1 plus R2 whole multiplied by uh, VUTP is plus Vsat minus of VLTP is minus Vsat. Okay, so this is what is the expression. Uh, governing what is called the uh, hysteresis voltage. The formula is R1 divided by R1 plus uh, R2 within the bracket Vsat minus of minus Vsat. Okay, so this is about uh, the Smith trigger. So uh, with this, uh, um, we are come to the end of the discussion um, of. Uh, Analog circuits. Okay. Subject code is uh, uh, 18EC42. Okay. So we have uh, learned in detail uh, about the fourth module. Fourth module uh, is operation, uh, is about operation and amplifier. Fourth module is operation amplifier with negative feedback and some of the uh, general applications. So we learned about inverting, non-inverting amplifier. We um, discussed about voltage gain, input impedance, output impedance, the, and then measuring the uh, bandwidth, the considering the feedback. Then we discussed in uh, brief about the DC AC amplifiers. We had detailed discussion of summing, scaling, averaging in case of inversion, non-inversion, and then the differential configurations so later. Towards the end, we had discussion on comparator, zero crossing detector, and then uh, Smith trigger. So putting all these things together, uh, students, uh, uh, you should be able to, to uh, dig up some circuitry in the laboratory, uh, verify the output. That is one way. Other way is uh, you, know, you can use any of the simulators. There are number of simulators which are uh, available at free. On the net, you can find out any suitable simulator, and then you can you can uh, simulate any of the circuitry what were explained. It's very easy to use simulator. It is all uh, self-explanatory. You can learn on your own. So by practicing use of the simulator for uh, uh, realizing all these uh, operations of uh, uh, applications of operation amplifier uh, will enhance will definitely enhance your knowledge. So therefore. I strongly recommend students to make use of these uh, simulators available um, to realize all these uh, 
uh, electronic circuitry, particularly this operational amplifier with negative feedback and general applications. Even the other topics can also be uh, uh, learned in detail. So uh, with this, I'm going to uh, end my uh, lecture covering this uh, module four of uh, the analog circuits. The subject uh, uh, code is 18 is 42. Uh, the reference, if students you want to learn more about this one, you can refer to operational amplifiers and linear integrated circuits, Ramakant, A. Goyakwa. So it is a PSN publication. So like this, there are plenty of uh, uh, books available on this uh, in the library or on uh, e-books are also available. E nowadays, uh, plenty of e-books are available. There is no dearth, there is no limit to read on the net, right, sir? So unlike earlier days, about three to four decades back where uh, students used to go to library only for the books, now the days are different. So whatever you want, uh, you have on your fingertips and you can read, learn, understand. So therefore, try to make use of uh, all these uh, uh, e-sources uh, of VTU as well as uh, the outside also for enhancing your knowledge. I'm very much uh, uh, thankful to uh, all the stakeholders for their patience listening. So I'm stopping at this point to end my lecture series on analog circuits under uh, VTU e-6 program. Thank you all. Good luck.